Welcome back. Now, think of mods and you think of sharp suits, scooters and Brighton. Get that black eyeliner on and join Ruth England for a day out at the seaside. Mod, short for modernism, was the fashion movement of the 60s. And while it's no longer mainstream or the focus of media attention, it's still around today, 40 years after it first began. Mary and David Nimmo are mods. They weren't mods in the 1960s, but they might as well have been. Their attention to detail is precise. So tell me a little bit about the history of it, where it started in the 60s. Uh, Soho in 63, some people say. But, I mean, you could go back to the late 50s, really early 60s. Yeah. You know, just people wearing sharp Italian suits and getting into jazz music and early black American R&B. Just stylists the craving for the mm -hmm. latest uh, fashions the, yeah, from the continent. Just... They were looking actually at the continent mm -hmm. uh, for inspiration, um, just striving to be totally different in individuals and super modern, as the name implies. They're rebelling against this uh, greasy haired rocker look of the previous decade. I mean, mod girls tend to be quite androgynous. I think my style ranges from 1963 to 1966, to be precise when things started going a bit mad, and definitely not me. So is the mod scene intrinsically linked to the 60s? Well, we, we look at the 60s for inspiration. Obviously, modernist today is a different concept than we had then. Uh, so much has happened. I mean, there was, there was a 79 revival thing, which uh, was obviously based on 60s music, but uh, influenced by punk. But I think the mod scene today is definitely back to the 60s influence. I mean, your house is decked out entirely in 60s furniture. I mean, you feel it's like you just stepped back into the 60s here. Now, where did you get all this stuff from? Skips. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Uh, charity shops, jumble sales, book markets. You develop an eye for things as well, and I think mm. both of us can probably spot a bit of 60s furniture, a bit of 60s cloth hanging up in a rack of clothes from 100 yards. Would you say that all mods are collectors? Well, it's inevitable, really. I mean, un understandably, if you're looking at the past for inspiration, you tend to try to gather all the elements that existed then. And it's a quest trying to yes. track down a pair of original shoes and an original suit. Extremely economical as well. Mm. I mean, some of my dresses cost 50p. And they look a million dollars. And they look a million dollars. Would you say that the mod scene is still alive? Definitely. Yeah, look at us. Mm, well, we're still alive. I think it's uh, more alive today than it has been for a long time. So tell me about Parkers. Parkers? I mean, I've still got my Parker in my mum's loft back in Scotland, the original one. But uh, I mean, personally, I wouldn't be seen dead in the parking these days. I'm too old. Uh, it has yeah. become a uh, It's an icon mod now. icon, but, but uh, people don't, don't wear it. Do you think you'll always be mods? I remember saying to my mum when I was 14, she said, she said, oh, you'll grow out of this. And I said, no, I won't always be a mod. And here I am today. <laughs> <laughs> they both have that 1960s Thunderbirds look, don't they? Now, remember the Smurfs? Remember the number one hit? Did you love them or hate them? Billy Long loved them then and he loves them still. Welcome, Billy. Okay. When did the